Well, it's time for You Are What You Eat. According to a study recently published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, researchers at the Heart Institute in Sydney, Australia, finds eating just one meal, high in saturated fat, can quickly prevent good cholesterol from protecting the body against clogged arteries. Here to tell us more, Mark Mancola, PhD, a natural health care practitioner from Cohasset, Massachusetts. Good morning, Mark. Morning, Brad. Well, tell us a little bit about this study. I think it's kind of old news in some respects, Brad, but I think it's important news. I think the idea that uh, meals that are high in saturated fat, perhaps junk food kind of stuff here, uh, could really cause problems a lot quicker than we're aware of. Three short hours, uh, obviously, is a, a short window of time for the bad cholesterol to really create problems in those arteries, and only six hours to really upset the HDL, the good cholesterol. Well, that sounds pretty traumatic, such a short window, but this was a pretty small study, right? It was indeed a small study. Uh, only 14 people in this particular study. Uh, were ages 14 to 40 and they were reviewed over a period of six months but on a monthly basis they were reviewed with two different meals Brad one meal was high in saturated fat they used a lot of coconut oil the other meal high in unsaturated or polyunsaturated fat was safflower oil well surprisingly here they not only found out that the saturated fat meal was creating problems with those arteries in three to six hours but they found that the polyunsaturated vegetable fat, the good fat, was actually able to correct it in just about the same amount of time. So I think there's a real demarcation here. A lot of good vegetable oils are great, uh, but some of these heavier fats, boy, they cause problems really swiftly. And is that the significance of this study? I believe it is, and I believe uh, it's, it's a reinforcement that suggests that uh, a couple thoughts here. I think, you know, when people actually have blood tests, people, uh, their physicians maybe order a blood test, maybe they eat really well, they exercise, and when you think about it, if the day before or maybe the morning of uh, you're eating improperly, you could really skew that blood test. So you really want to eat well before those blood tests if you're a good eater. Um, I think in general it gives us a message that more vegetable fats, better idea. Uh, you know, the saturated fats from a lot of animal products, et cetera, we want to be really careful because the damage is fast. So basically use more polyunsaturated fats, and what exactly does that mean? Well, I think people? poly and even monounsaturated bread. So I think, you know, olive oil is something we all know about. Canola oil is relatively safe to use as well. Uh, the idea of using safflower oil in salads is probably a good idea. You don't want to cook with it because the safflower oil is not really sturdy enough to apply heat to. Uh, but again, the olive oil is great all-purpose oil. People want to learn a little bit more about this study, Brad, they can check out our website at www.maxhealing.com. Great, thanks Mark. Thank you. And coming up next week, how vitamin D might help, might help reduce one's risk of pancreatic cancer.